So I finished adhering uh, the flaps to the uh, rear frame. Uh, the uh, the Loctite um, two-part epoxy is what I used there. I clamped it in place. It worked well. It's it's glued in there really well. Um, I'm getting prepared for uh, the next step, which is uh, snugging up the top frame and um, and stapling it to the to the front bow or to the header. Um, I may go along the back and put more staples in before I do that. I wouldn't want those staples to pull out. That'd be a pain um, because, of course, I'm going to pull it tight to the front header and staple it in place. And I'm just going to do some temporary staples. Um, I say that because then what I'm going to do is mark where it is when it's hand tight. Um, and then I'm going to mark about a quarter inch uh, back from that staple and um, from side to side. And then I'm going to raise the top frame so that there is slack in the, in the material. And then I'm going to remove the old staples and um, pull it tighter, about a quarter inch tighter. And then I'll lower the top and that should stretch it into place hopefully. Um, so what I'm so what I'm doing in preparation for that is the the factory um, convertible top did have a piece of felt that ran across the header, and I think it just kind of smoothed out the look of the header, um, and it might actually um, make it so that when the trim piece fits here, it'll fit more snugly against the uh, convertible top, um, hopefully. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna so I bought some felt. And I'm going to glue that to this front header. Um, and I, I put towels there. I'm going to use some spray adhesive. So I put some towels here and I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to glue it along this and along this area. And um, I'm going to stop short of these holes because I'd like to be able to maintain access to, the, to unscrew this piece if necessary.